let's get right into it. Number 10. Sleep jerks. Every time you fall asleep, your body thinks you're dying. Just as you're drifting off, your muscles suddenly jerk you awake. It's like your body is hitting the panic button for no reason. This happens to 70% of people. So right now, millions of bodies are twitching in their beds. When you start falling asleep, your muscles relax. But your brain thinks you're actually falling to your death. So it sends a panic signal to your whole body, making you jolt awake. Some people even get quick flashes of falling through space or tripping over cliffs. Others hear loud bangs, as if their brain decided to add explosion sound effects. Your brain creates mini horror movies right as you try to sleep. Scientists think this might be left over from when we used to sleep in trees. Your body is still running ancient code from millions of years ago. Every night your brain is living in the past, trying to save you from falling out of a tree that doesn't exist. And the more tired or stressed you are, the more your body does this. Number 9. Phantom Vibration Syndrome Your brain is playing tricks on you right now. That buzz you just felt in your pocket wasn't your phone vibrating. Your brain just made that up. It's called Phantom Vibration Syndrome, a condition where your brain has gotten so used to your phone buzzing that it starts making up fake buzzes. Up to 90% of people with phones report these fake buzzes. That's right. 9 out of 10 people are walking around feeling ghost vibrations on their skin. Your brain has rewired itself to be a notification detector. Any little thing, your clothes moving, a muscle twitch, even the wind. And your brain instantly signals that your phone is buzzing. The creepiest part is that the more anxious you are about missing messages, the more your brain creates these fake sensations. And changing where you keep your phone doesn't help. Your brain just starts creating phantom buzzes in the new spot. Some people even feel these ghost vibrations on parts of their body where they've never even kept their phone. Your nervous system has turned into a spam folder, sending fake notifications throughout the day. It's like your flesh is trying to become one with your technology. Number 8. Body Hijackers There's a parasite living in your brain right now. It's called Toxoplasma gondii, and it's in about 30% of all humans. This tiny parasite is rewiring your brain as you watch this video. In mice, this parasite makes them love the smell of cat pee. The infected mouse runs straight to the cat, gets eaten, and the parasite gets what it wants. But humans aren't immune to its mind control. This brain invader changes your personality. It makes you take more risks, changes how you react to danger. Your fear responses, your reflexes, even your attraction to certain people are all influenced by this microscopic puppet master. The parasite builds tiny cysts in your brain tissue. These cysts are filled with sleeping parasites, waiting to activate. They're like time bombs scattered throughout your nervous system. In areas where more people are infected, there are higher rates of car crashes, mood disorders, and unusual behavior. Your personality might not be entirely your own. You probably got it from your cat. That cute furball sleeping on your bed is the primary host for this brain-controlling parasite. Every time you clean the litter box, you're playing Russian roulette with your mind. The parasite can only reproduce inside cats, so it does whatever it takes to get back inside one. Number 7. Sleep Paralysis your body traps you inside itself every night. During sleep, your brain shuts off your muscles so you don't act out your dreams. But sometimes your mind wakes up while your body is still frozen. You're fully conscious but can't move a single muscle. Not your arms, not your legs, not even your mouth to scream. Your body has turned into a prison of flesh. Your eyes are wide open, scanning your dark room. Dark figures stand in the shadows. Sometimes they just watch. Sometimes they slowly walk towards your bed. Your chest feels heavy, like something is sitting on it. Many people feel hands wrapping around their throat. Others feel something crawling up their legs. The more scared you get, the longer you stay frozen. Your fear feeds the paralysis. Your body becomes a front row seat to your brain's private horror movie. Many people who get sleep paralysis see or feel something in the room with them. Your brain takes your deepest fears and makes them real. Number 6. Light Triggered Sneezing Your body has a glitch in its code. For some people, bright light makes them sneeze uncontrollably. Their nervous system has a crossed wire between their eyes and nose. When sunlight hits their eyes, their brain gets confused. The signal from their eyes jumps over to their nose nerves. Their body thinks something is stuck in their nose, so it triggers a sneeze. These aren't normal sneezes. They come in bursts of two or three, completely out of your control. Your body becomes a sneeze machine gun triggered by photons. Camera flashes, bright screens, even the reflection off snow can set you off. Your face becomes a light-activated sprinkler system. Imagine being a pilot, flying a plane, and suddenly your body forces you to sneeze because of the sun, or driving a car when the clouds break and your face decides to malfunction. 
It's genetic. If one of your parents has this glitch, you've got a 50-50 chance of inheriting it. Number 5. The second brain. There's another brain hiding in your gut right now. It's a massive network of neurons wrapped around your intestines. This second brain has more neurons than a cat's actual brain. Your gut brain doesn't need permission from your head brain to work. It runs its own show down there, controlling your digestion like a separate being inside you. Your gut brain talks to the one in your head constantly. When you're nervous and get butterflies in your stomach, that's your two brains fighting for control. Your gut brain is sending panic signals whether your head brain wants them or not. Trillions of bacteria live inside this second brain. They're like tiny drug dealers, pumping out chemicals that control your mood. Having a bad day? Blame the bacteria. Feeling happy? Thank your gut's chemical factory. 90% of your body's serotonin, the happy chemical, is made in your gut. Your emotions are being controlled by your intestines. Your gut feelings aren't just sayings. They're real signals from your second brain. Number 4. Brain self-cannibalism. Your brain is eating itself right now. Deep inside your skull, your brain cells are breaking down and digesting their own parts. It's called autophagy, which literally means self-eating. When you skip meals, your brain goes into full drama mode. It starts breaking down its own cells just to make you feel more hungry. It's like your brain is throwing a tantrum, destroying its own room until you feed it. These hunger neurons start eating themselves, which ramps up hunger signals. They're basically holding themselves hostage. Feed me, or the neurons get it. Your brain cells have tiny recycling centers inside them. These centers grab old or damaged parts and dissolve them. When you're hungry, these recycling centers go into overdrive. Right now, thousands of your brain cells are dissolving their own pieces. Your consciousness is literally built on a foundation of self-cannibalism. If this self-eating stops, things start to go wrong. Number 3. Capgrass Delusion Your brain can suddenly decide your family isn't real. One day you wake up, look at your mom, and your brain tells you she's been replaced by a copy. She looks exactly the same, talks the same, but your brain is screaming that she's an imposter. Your brain has two ways of recognizing people. One part handles what they look like, and another handles how you feel about them. When these parts stop talking to each other, your brain creates this living nightmare. You'll recognize their face perfectly. Same eyes, same smile, same everything. But that warm feeling you get when you see them is completely gone. Instead, there's just a cold certainty that they're fake. Your brain starts building evidence. Every small difference in behavior becomes proof. A new hairstyle becomes proof the imposter is getting sloppy with their disguise. A different laugh means they're not even trying to hide it anymore. A small injury to your brain, a stroke, or even some medications can trigger it. Number 2. The Jamais Vu Your brain can suddenly make everything feel alien. One second you're looking at your own face in the mirror, the next it feels like you're staring at a stranger. Write any word about 30 times and watch as your brain slowly disconnects from reality. The letters stop making sense. They're just weird shapes on the page now. Your brain's recognition system crashes like a broken computer. That person you've known for years becomes a stranger wearing your friend's face. Your own bedroom feels like you're seeing it for the first time. Musicians get it while playing songs they've known for years. Mid-performance, their fingers suddenly feel alien on their instruments. Their brain forgets how to do something they've done thousands of times. The more familiar something is, the creepier it feels when your brain forgets it. Your spouse's face, your own name, even your memories can suddenly feel like they belong to someone else. Number 1. Eyelash Mites Right now, tiny spider-like creatures are crawling on your face. They're living in your eyelashes, eating your dead skin, and coming out at night to mate. These are eyelash mites, and almost every adult human has them. During the day, they hide deep in your follicles, sleeping and digesting all the dead skin and oils they ate last night. But when you go to sleep, that's when they become active. They crawl out of your eyelash holes and start wandering all over your face. They're looking for mates, and your face is their dating app. They crawl from eyelash to eyelash, mating while you sleep. The females lay their eggs inside your eyelash follicles. Their tiny bodies store waste until they die, releasing it all at once. When they die, their bodies just decompose right there in your follicles. Your face becomes their sprawling metropolis. The older you get, the more of these tiny roommates you collect. By the time you're 60, Pretty much every single one of your eyelash follicles has these creatures living in it. That tickle you feel near your eye? Probably one of them moving around right now. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.